Dear students, I am Dr. M. Muthuvel, Assistant Professor of English, VHM Sandeep Modar College, Virudhanagar. The purpose of this video lesson to make your better learning experience in basic English grammar. And this lesson is all about adverb. An adverb describes a verb, an adjective, another adverb or a whole sentence. Adverb is also a one of the part in the parts of speech. Now we discuss elaborately what is an adverb. An adverb is a word that elaborates the action of the verb and is usually written after the verb in a sentence. Most of the adjectives can be used as adverbs. Here you observe the pictures. Girl runs quickly. This is a very sweet mango. Peter reads quite clearly. In these sentences, quickly, very and quite, they are called adjectives, can be used as adverbs. Adverbs, the answer got for the questions, where, when or how will be an adverb. Here you observe the pictures for your better perception. How, when, in what manner, how many times, in what way, how much, to what extent, how often. Now we discuss some examples. Ravi ran fast. The postman delivers mail every day. She sat beside him. Here you may observe the first sentence. Ravi ran fast. Inside the bracket, I give how. So we may frame the question with the usage of how. For example, when we make a question, how did Ravi run? So it answers, Ravi ran fast. Also like that, we may frame the questions for the second one. The postman delivers mail every day. We may raise the question by when. Also like, she sat beside him. Here we make a question by where. Formation of adverbs. Most of the adverbs are formed by the addition of ly to the adjective. Below you observe the examples. She sang beautifully. She walked briskly. The first one example. She sang beautifully. Underline the word beautifully. Beautifully is an adverb. So beautiful is an adjective. So when you are going to add ly with the beautiful. It became beautifully an adverb. Also like she walked briskly. In this sentence, I underlined the word briskly. Brisk is an adjective. When we are going to add ly with the brisk, it became briskly, an adverb. The formation of adverbs by adding suffixes. Besides ly, suffix, wise, ways, word, words, or other suffixes. He walked backwards. She gave a sidewise glance. In these two examples, I underlined the words backwards and sidewise. They are adverbs. By the formation of word and wise. Some adverbs are compounds of a preposition and a noun. On plus foot, a foot. On plus board, a board. And overboard. Below you observe the example. The passenger fell overboard the ship. Here, underline the word overboard. It is an adverb. Some adverbs are compounds of an adverb and a proportion. Hereby, here with, thereof, thereby, henceforth, and etc. The youth was acquitted of murder, henceforth he was released. Here, henceforth is an adverb.
some adverbial phrases are formed by joining two adverbs with conjunction by and by far and wide now and then to and for off and on etc below you observe the example roger went far and wide to explain his concept here far and wide is an adverbial phrase some adjectives function as adverbs by changing position you observe the examples below how the same word function as adjective and an adverb the hindu is a daily paper here the word daily it function as adjective the hindu is published daily here the word daily is function as an adverb so the word daily it changes its position in the two sentence and functions as adjective and adverb adverb sometimes modifies an adjective or another adverb you observe the examples below it was a very long serial here the adjective very modifies a another adjective long the second one example she talked quite elaborately here the adjective quite it modifies the another adverb elaborately adverbs are also used to form comparatives in this example hemo ran faster than mina here the word faster is an adverb used as comparative form forms of adverbs the first one adverbs of time it answers the question when below you observe the example she arrives tomorrow here we frame the question the usage of when when does she arrive then adverbs of place answers the question where in this example he placed the luggage near the bed here we frame the question the usage of were where did he place the luggage adverbs of manner it answers the question how and in what manner example she speaks softly here we may frame the question with the usage of how next one adverbs of frequency it answers the question how often example she visits my house frequently here we may frame the question with the usage of how often like the previous example adverb of degree and quantity it answers the questions in what degree and how much you observe the examples below the men were not quick enough here the adverb enough it expresses the adverb of degree the second one example he gave only two sweets here the adverb only it expresses the quantity adverb of affirmation and negation you observe the examples below you are surely mistaken here the word surely is an adverb it expresses affirmation next one example his work was wholly appreciated here the word wholly is an adverb it expresses negation adverbs of reason answer the question why he therefore left the course due to lack of interest here the adverb therefore it answers the question why and finally 
सम एक्सरसाइज फॉर यूर प्रैक्टिस हियर यू हैव द फाइव क्वेश्चन फॉर यूर प्रैक्टिस पर्पज द क्वेश्चन आर फॉलोड बै द एंसर्स सो फर्स्ट यू मे फैंड औट द करेक्ट एंसर्स युवर सेल्फ देन यू मे रेफर द एंसर्स नौ लट डिस्कस द एक्सरसाइज द फर्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन सी डांस टू डैश अट द फंक्शन second one question i have done the problem as it was das ec the third one question mohan das visits her house he das comes to my house the fourth one question he speaks very dash the fifth one question they shoot the people das the train i hope you may found the correct answers now let us see the correct answers for the given exercise in the first exercise she danced gracefully or beautifully at the function so gracefully and beautifully both are correct second question i have done the problem as it was quite easy third question mohan frequently visits her house he seldom comes to my house fourth questions he speaks very loudly or softly or fluently so that these three answers are correct fifth question they shoot the people inside the shrine Thank you for listening this video lesson